Yuck! That's how I used to feel about Brussels sprouts. Now I'm like, yummy! Brussels sprouts! I struggled with growing Brussels sprouts for years, and I wouldn't dare take any of what I grew to the farmer's market. I made lots of mistakes growing them. I mean, lots of mistakes that I will share with you so you don't have to go through the same frustration. Brussels sprouts can be difficult to grow, but once I teach you these tips, it will get easier. Mistake number one, timing. I used to plant my Brussels sprouts right along with my broccoli. Well, for those in zone six, that's way too soon. It meant my plants were maturing in early July. Nope, that didn't work. Brussels sprouts hate the heat and they need some light frost to really bring out the flavor. You see, when my spring broccoli and cabbage hit the hot season, they had already matured. I harvested them and pulled the plants, but the Brussels sprouts needed more time to grow. So the first big change was to start seeding them in early June. That is much better. They will then mature at the end of summer while fall is coming. Another way to figure this out is to start at your fall frost date and work backwards four months. Mistake number two. I set them out in the hot sun. We've already talked about how they like cool weather. So I started planting them under shade cloth, just like my summer lettuce. They were much happier and they had fewer bugs. Brussels sprouts are prone to lots of insects. The destructive cabbage white caterpillars will gobble up the leaves and leave their black poops all over the plant. These guys can be persistent. Try some diatomaceous earth or hand picking. And if that doesn't help, some Monterey spinosad, which I have linked below. Aphids are another pest. I recommend soapy water and diatomaceous earth for them. Please boop that like button and subscribe to help share this video with other garden addicts. Black rot is a bacterial infection of brassicas. It can be spread by infected seed, so make sure to buy seed that's been tested. Crop rotation, buying resistant varieties, and immediately removing infected plants are best practices. Okay, I got a bit ahead of myself talking about my screw-ups. Now let's talk about how to plant your Brussels sprouts now that we have figured the timing out. Plant seeds about a half an inch deep in a cool room and keep the soil moist. Brussels sprouts like rich, well-draining soil, so till in plenty of compost. They will do fine in a pH level between six and seven, which is going to suit most zone six gardeners. Transplant them out when they are six inches tall. Space them between 12 and 18 inches apart. Check your variety height because some get pretty tall. For square foot gardeners, plant one per square and stick with shorter varieties such as jade. Give them a nice dose of fish emulsion when you transplant. Don't fertilize them in late summer while they are producing sprouts. Use straw mulch like this lettuce they will appreciate moist, cool soil, and the straw will help you there. Brussels sprouts have shallow roots, so make sure to weed and eliminate the competition. Not like this person. <laughs> Dill is a good companion plant, and so are marigolds. The bottom leaves may turn yellow and sag, which is normal. Remove them and let the sun get to the developing sprouts. Taller varieties get upwards to four feet and may require staking. To harvest, you can just twist off the sprouts. Start with the bigger ones and let the smaller ones grow some more. You can also cut the whole stalk off. 
fresh sprouts are much better than store-bought ones, and there are a surprising number of ways to cook them. Check out the blog post for recipes. I'll have it linked below. I love them roasted. Brassicas are very nutritious. Check out my video on growing broccoli next. Thanks for watching and have a sunny day.